How's it going YouTube and welcome back to another week of Behind the Blade. Just about to jump in the tractor and head over to a school this morning. So let's go get it. So as soon as we get to site, the lads get the kit out and start cracking on. We've also got this field to do on the Massey. The lads are doing all the smaller bits, the hedge cutting, the weed control, the strimming and the mowing of the smaller areas. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you already know that we always start off with the boundary and that's just to ensure that we're turning around on cut grass. And then I can get start striping that fill with the Trimax Pegasus. And going on like a beaten drum, accompanied by the CHD Auto Steer Navigation Kit, helps us produce efficiency. I was chatting to someone on the Trimax forum the other day and they could not see how a navigation would help them mow it. And once the field is done, I can jump out of the tractor and get the Trimax back into transport mode because there's two other sites underneath this school complex we need to get mowed with the tractor. The lads are still cracking on with all the smaller areas on the right, making sure that the outside of the field and all the goalposts are strimmed up nicely. I head to the second site and we get the Trimax dropped and we start mowing and pitting some stripes down in this beautiful autumn sun here today. The field doesn't take me long to get sorted with the Pegasus before no time the lads have already arrived done the outside of the field and we can use the bowcom trike to start getting some lines on the ground football season's back so we haven't line marked this area in a while but the trike is making light work i move over to the third side of the site to get that mode so the lads can finish it off on their end okay so i left the lads earlier on site at the school and i've just had a meeting on zoom and that's with a large brand, um, a large global brand actually, um, potentially bringing some stuff to the YouTube, doing some product testing, uh, sending us some kit to see how we get on with it. So yeah, I've been in a meeting since I left them, obviously cut the grass in the tractor and they've done all the smaller bits around the site, including all the ride on mile work, weed control, hedge control and stuff like that. I'm now going to meet them at a parish council where we've got all the verge cutting to do, the play areas um, and any areas next to the road. So regular viewers of the channel know the crack by now, mainly mow, strim and blow, but we'll go ahead and meet the lads on site and show the new viewers of the channel what goes on when we cut in parish councils. Right, we are at the parish council. I am on the strimmer and Ash and Cameron I'm doing the mowing and the blowing behind me. I'm trying to stay ahead with the strimmer just so that when they get to the sections, the grass is already ready to mow and then Ash can tidy it up straight after. So yeah, it's started to rain, so we'll see how much footage we get. So working as a team, we can move from patch of grass to patch of grass around the parish council with Ash donning the hustler on all the wide areas. Obviously me strimming, Ash can jump off after and grab the blowing with the blower. We've got Cameron on the right doing all of the smaller areas, working as a team, progressing through the parish in a very efficient manner, trying to beat the weather. We get some of the formal areas sorted and striped up. I jump on the right to get these sorted because there's quite a lot of obstacles and then that brings us to the end of this parish council. Tuesday morning and we are on site at parish council. We didn't film much yesterday because it absolutely chucked it down. So again, I'm gonna be chucking it down today and tomorrow. So this video will be a good insight of how we manage the weather and uh, just crack on with it. But uh, unfortunately we don't have a waterproof camera. So the filming may be a little bit sporadic. This morning we just did a little bit of admin. It's currently nine o'clock and we're about to start. We had to drop the van off for service. Uh, it's in for tires, brake pads and a service. So we'll get all the kit ready and we'll start at this parish council. So with me donning the right and getting all of the verges done, I'm trying to stay ahead of the two lads strimming. And the, we've got two people strimming either side of the street to try and make this as efficient as possible today. They're just walking up either side of the street to get all of the edges down for the areas that I can't get with the right. And then we've got one person blowing down behind us, just tidying up all of the footpaths. Any of the verges leading out of the town, I can just grab with the right and there's no need to strim these because we can hang the deck over, maximizing efficiency. 
we just keep on uh, working as a team to get sorted, moving around any obstacles in the grass. Parish councils do require quite a bit of concentration so you don't hit drains or any objects that have been left. Any wide areas can be done with the hustler, making sure we keep clear from any obstacles and then working as a team. Someone on the right can do the boundary and any areas that the hustler cannot grab. Whoever's on the hustler does all of the blowing down, but we are working our way through the parish nearly towards the end. We're on our last street, just making sure this is all strimmed up, mowed and tidy and we can get the kit back on the trailer. But that's not the end of the day. This has got a neighbouring parish that we run to. We get all of the strimming and the mowing and the blowing done here and we can finally, finally move on. But again, probably not done for the day. We jump over to a large acreage lawn. Ash donning the hustler and the iron on the right and we can get all of the areas done. The right basically just doing all of the smaller areas that the hustler can't get. But it's large acreage so the hustler can stretch its legs. And once this is done we can move on to any of the obstacles, getting all of the trees mowed round and strimmed and then we can finally pack up and call it a day for today. We've managed to beat the weather, but we've worked well as a team. We had a little bit of a nightmare this morning. The first place we dropped the van off couldn't service it, so we brought it to ATS underneath the uh, lease agreement. They are sorting it out with some tyres and brake pads. Happy days. Day done. It is Wednesday, bit of an impromptu video. I wasn't expecting to film uh, today I had a meeting this morning with a multiple site contract it's about seven sites it's a trust of schools uh, and then had a meeting um, with one of our larger contracts just to talk about renovation works etc uh, moving forward just bang a little photo up here of uh, their grounds which are looking fantastic at the minute um, and yeah I freed some time up today it was really bad weather back home um, so I've popped a grounds fest so let's see what's going on here money or he's leaving or he's not happy with someone and he sat down the FB and he said he bought a couple of pieces of so we skipped to Friday morning and I'm straight out in the tractor sorting out the boundary of this large um, sports complex it's just being turned into a community sports center so we have already done the boundaries and we're starting off with the stripes and i'm cross cutting it here today so i'm not going with the pitch i'm going uh, across the pitch if that makes any sense at all well today is not exciting for content at all so after i finished with the tractor i had to get the tractor back to the unit and go back there in the Ranger with the trailer and the Hustler to do some line marking. Luckily, just round the corner, we had another client that needed line marking as well. So it wasn't too much of a wasted journey. And I've just been dealing with loads of stuff today. I don't know what it is. We're, so we're signing a lease for a new unit. So I've had to be in between working, uh, having to sort the uh, metering out for the electricity, find electricity quotes because um, we're meant to be moving in next week but there's a lot that needs doing uh, that's just kind of been dropped on me so we might have to delay that that day um, also been dealing with some of the issues and solutions that Ash needed with uh, them guys so them guys are out doing a parish council today and they've had equipment issues so been jumping in and sorting that been negating prices with suppliers been ordering all of this stuff whilst on the road uh, and hopefully you can understand that whilst all of that is going on my brain's going a million miles an hour and I kind of just forget to film um, it'd be, it would have been handy if I'd filmed some of those conversations so you could have seen uh, how it goes on but I film behind the blade using my phone, so potentially in the future we'll get a standalone camera for it, but at the minute I don't have the marketing budget to do that, so. But yeah, I'm now on the way to go meet the lads to take uh, some of the equipment off of their hands that now needs repairing. I've also got to dive down to Milton Keynes um, and get a lacrosse pitch cut 
and marked in. Never done a lacrosse before, so this will be fun. And then I've got a line marking uh, job after that. It's currently half two. Praying we don't run out of weather or sunlight today because I'm meant to be at a wedding tomorrow, which means hopefully I'll get a weekend off. But only time will tell. So let's get down, see how the lads are get on and crack on with what we've got to do.